Hello everyone, it is Nick again at NJ's Bricks, and today we're going to open some LEGO CMF26, and we are going to do a review of the OMG Bricks app, specifically its minifig scanning feature. This is going to allow you purportedly to go into the store, see these blind boxes, and check out what's inside of them before you open them so you can complete your set and get the figures that you want. We're going to see how well the app works today. If you like this content, please like and subscribe down below. We're going to open 30 minifigures today. We should definitely get a complete set. We'll see what we get out of them, and we'll see how well the OMG Bricks app works. All right. Let's get into it here. All right, so again, we have five boxes here. I can even open them, and each of them have six minifigs. Never actually opened these six-fig packs, so it's kind of interesting. Nice little box here, honestly. And all right, so we have six boxes here. Now, what this app does is on the bottom of each boxes, there are these barcodes. And what this app purports to do is to scan these barcodes here and tell you what's inside. So this is what the app looks like here when you're open up right to the homepage. And we're going to go to minifig scan. OMG bricks would like to access our camera. Allow it. All right. And this is... Judging by this picture, these look like they are the larger barcode version here. So we'll say yes, larger barcode must be minifigure series 5 or 25 or newer. We have 26, so let's take a look. So the app here, scanning this QR, and it is telling us, the app is telling us that we are going to find the imposter inside of this box. And look, how it's got like motion tracking too, that's kind of sick. All right, let's find out if it's right. And this looks like it is correct. Let's take a peek here. These are all 12 of the different minifigs you can open in this series. This one here, I suppose, is called the Imposter, based on the OMG Bricks naming there. Let's see. I like these base plates. They have these stars all over them to match the space theme. That's really cool. Let's throw this guy together here. We got a couple of different faces. That's always cool. I guess that's the imposter aspect of this. It's hiding out as a... It can hide out as a human instead of an alien. And I don't know what the little statuette is supposed to be, but there's three of them, so that's cool. You get some extras here. And there you have it. Maybe the statuette is a kid or a relative. So there you have it. That is the imposter. Pretty cool. And so one of the other cool things about this app is they say they can scan multiple boxes at the same time. So let's go ahead and see how that works. All right, so there it is. It is telling us that we are getting the Blacktron Mutant, the Nurse Android, and Alan Beetlezoid. Is that what that says in the bottom there? I can't quite tell, but let's go ahead and open them up and see what kind of accuracy we've got here. So far, so good. Pop this guy together. I like the printing on the face of this one. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video so you can see some really high-resolution shorts of the different minifigures here. I don't know. Is this supposed to be the hair piece? Let me take a look. Uh, consult my thing here. There are some build instructions for the more complex bits that some of these minifigures have on the back here. Or you can just reference the picture on the front, see what's going on. I'm just noticing now that he's got a double arm. That's crazy. 
That's pretty cool. One gun. Doesn't seem uh, very useful to be holding two guns with these hands that uh, can't point in particularly useful directions at the same time. But if you need to shoot something in the ground and something in the air all at once, this minifigure is going to crush it for you. So I guess that's the uh, the Blacktron Mutant, I believe it said it was called. Now this next one here is supposed to be the Nurse Android. We'll see if that's accurate. Yes, it is. So I think there's good things and there's bad things about this existing. On the one hand, I like the idea of the blind bag. Not knowing what you're going to get is interesting to me. But at the same time, I understand that most fans are mostly interested in completing their collection and having multiples is only useful to the average Lego fan as a means to be able to trade with others to complete a set. And you may not have people local to you or that's a feasible thing to be able to do. So getting a bunch of duplicates for a lot of people is really frustrating. So I think on the whole, this is probably a net benefit. I will say where this becomes a bit of an issue is if in your area there are a lot of resellers, and I am a reseller for full clarity. I've said that before. I have a Brickling store. I won't be doing this, but some people certainly will. Every CMF series, there is one or two figures that is are considerably more valuable than the other figures. So when you can scan all the boxes and see exactly what's in them like this, you're going to have people that are going to buy up all of the expensive ones and then leave the cheaper ones left over. I experienced this even with the bags when people could feel what was in them or use a, a very precise scale to weigh and figure out what was in them. I would go to like my local Target and there might be 20 minifigure bags there and it's 10 and 10 of the two cheapest or jankiest ones from the series. So hopefully that doesn't happen to people. Hopefully we don't see... Uh, folks rolling up in the store and scanning every single box just so they can buy the ones that are worth seven bucks and try to make a couple dollars per figure. That's really not cool, but I do think that this app enabling people to complete their sets and get exactly what they need is overall going to be a net, a good thing. So Alan Beetlezoid in this one, the app is telling us, let's go ahead and take a look. And that is correct. It'll be interesting to see if Lego does anything to change the way they do this in the future. Like if Lego doesn't like this app existing and being 100% accurate, will they do something to curb uh, the ability of people to determine what minifigures they're going to open? I would guess probably not. But you never really know, I suppose. I know a lot of people think that they switched to the boxes uh, to prevent folks from feeling them and figuring out what was inside of them and make it harder to do that. I don't believe that's the case. I think it's part of their whole, like they say, it's part of their whole packaging initiative. Um, and I see a lot of folks complaining that people in the stores are ripping open the boxes, leaving the empty boxes behind, stealing the figures. People did that with the bags. Like, that's no different. The boxes are no easier to, like, open quickly and steal stuff out of than the bags were. So I, I don't know why people are using that as an argument against the boxes. But anyways, there you have it. There's uh, Beetlezoid. We got a couple of more figures from this first box here. Let's go ahead and check the scanner. The scanner is telling us Mtron, Powerlifter, and Orion. So let's go ahead. This should be our Mtron power lifter. Oh my god, I opened this box like a savage and threw the pieces right on the floor. Well, hopefully that was just like an extra because I don't want to have to go look for it. Uh, And that is correct. Again, like the app. Sorry, I'm throwing heads on the ground. The app uh, so far has had 100% accuracy. I don't think it's going to mess up. Obviously, Lego has made the codes in such a way this time that we we can figure out what's inside. 
I gotta look at a quick build for this one here. So one of these pins is going in here, which is going on top of this. this one. Though seems a little more complicated, too complicated for its own good, maybe. But maybe I'm just dumb. All right. So and then this is like a jetpack head. I keep losing this head. That goes on there. I'm not super familiar with all the older space themes, so a bunch of you guys are going to like know these characters or these themes much better than I would. I think the other one goes in here, and then this sticks on there. And that goes like that, and he can hold, hold on to this. Is that what we're doing here? Let's see. Apparently, it feels like the cable part is a bit stiff, but there he is. Some kind of blaster there, and then this looks like a power pack, I guess. So, yeah, I really, uh, I'm impressed with this app. Obviously, it works very simply. It's very straightforward, very easy to use. No problems identifying which figures are in here. And if you want to complete your collection download this app it is omg bricks is the name of it right on the home page you saw me navigate there to the minipig scanner very easy to get to very easy to download free to use they didn't pay me to do this or anything i just i saw other people using this app and i wanted to check it out for myself and see if it was accurate all right trying to figure out what this is some kind of a club here some pretty sweet minifigures honestly like look at this shiny purple head on this one like that's lots of trans clear purple pieces on this this hair piece this is a cool series all right so now that you see me use the app i'm just going to go ahead and go through and open up the rest of these and over the next few days you can see shorts of each of these with my thoughts on them on the channel please like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this content perhaps the wildest of the lego cmf series 26 space figures which is saying something this is the alien Beetlezoid. Funny enough, in my bigger video, I kept calling it Alan Beetlezoid because I couldn't read the name correctly. But there's some wild custom molded parts on this. A lot of print detail everywhere. Really cool minifig. While not overly complicated, I actually think this is probably my favorite from LEGO CMF Series 26. This is the alien tourist. I love this Hawaiian t-shirt there. The idea that a tourist from space like this would have that kind of attire really funny love the shorts on the dual molded short legs there very cool figure this is the blacktron mutant blacktron i recall another one of the older lego space themes or factions i suppose i don't know a whole lot about it you guys can let me know in the comments below what exactly blacktron was but these are cool dual molded legs with the demogorgon looking mold there on the right leg some nice detail with the accessories and the prints a cool mini right here this here is the flying saucer costume fan and i like how they continued this sort of costume look for one of the CMF from this series as they have done with many of the different series in the past. It definitely looks like he's got a spaceship there flying around his head. And I really like the space printing on the torso and the rear with the Earth. This here is the Ice Planet Explorer from LEGO CMF Series 26. All of these figures in this series are space themed. As you can see here, some really cool printing on the shoulder blades of the armor piece there some decent printing on the torso and you get a secondary helmet piece as well as the hair piece which is nice to be able to swap around and this cool like digital arctic penguin looking figure a lot of things going on with this one this is one of the cooler figures in the series 26. this from the lego cmf series 26 is the imposter minifigure i don't know if that's supposed to be a screen on his face showing a picture of the statuette or if he, he's like hiding inside of the head, I guess. I think that's what's going on. These are little green aliens. They're hiding inside of the head there. Think the first Men in Black film, right? A little alien inside that guy's head. And I guess you can even see, yeah, like cutouts along the scalp line there. I think that's what's intended to be going on with this one. He's masquerading as a human. That's why he's called the imposter. From the Lego CMF Series 26, this is the Mtron Power Lifter. Mtron, I remember being one of the old space themes, but I actually don't know a whole lot about it. Really weird, like 
bendy cable piece going on on this one that connects to this jetpack. Not really sure what's going on with that. I'm sure that fans of the Mtron theme will know a bit more about it than I do. But at any event, it's a pretty cool looking minifigure with some neat accessories. Always love printing on the side of the legs there. And this one gets a nice grade from me. This is one of the most desirable figures from CMF Series 26. This is the Nurse Android, most specifically because she comes with that pink space baby. There's a lot of AFOLs that love to collect all colors of the space figures and the space babies. I've seen people do their own version of Everyone is Awesome with all the different colors of space figs, and I think that's pretty cool looking. This is from the LEGO CMF Series 26, the Orion minifigure. This one is awesome. It's like a trans purple color but with a lot of flecks of silver paint in there which really pop really awesome looking figure cool hair piece some accessories and extra pieces here that'll be used on custom minifigs i think from the lego cmf series 26 all the space themed figures we have here the retro space heroine really cool printing on this one i always like when they give us printing on the side of the legs and the arms i like the way the shiny gold paint pops off the torso and the legs and arms there really cool nice molded helmet piece with the ponytail coming out of the back a couple of different facial expressions with some shiny lip gloss there really cool figure lots of attention to the small details and that really comes through when you check this whole thing out this minifigure here is called the Robot Butler, and I do really enjoy these molded robot legs. That's pretty cool, and I like how they have him whisking up some whipped cream there inside of this container. That's really cool. Always love the whisk accessory and a nice helmet and some printing on the front and rear of the torso and head on this one, too. Certainly the bulkiest of the LEGO CMF Series 26. This is the spacewalking astronaut wearing one of those jetpack sort of backpacks there that you've seen them use to navigate throughout space most famously at least to me from the film the martian with matt damon when uh jessica chastain's out in space there and she's trying to fly the chair around to intercept him as they try to save him when he escapes mars this is a cool minifigure here love the classic space printing love the accessories really nice one